you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. You and uh, Jay Stalin just did a new track. Um, I thought that was dope. Um, how did that come about? You hadn't done a track in a little while though, like. Yeah, um, me and bro, uh, we really hadn't spoken even before the little beef uh, prior to that. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, but, okay. Uh, it wasn't like oh, no problem. We just was just he doing him, I was doing me. You yeah, me? of he course. Having kids, I'm having kids. We 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 building brands. You feel me? We uh, living life. You know what I'm saying? It just was not kind of like a grew apart type thing. Yeah, you, you feel me? But still had the love and respect for each other though. You feel me? Nobody can't tell me nothing bad about bro, bro. You feel me? I feel like you know, bro showed me a lot. You get what I'm saying? Like one thing to where that I know I was able to feed my family. Nigga showed yeah. me how to record myself. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like bro was doing it before me. Like when I met him, he already had albums out. Like an album, I didn't. I never had. When, you, an album when you met Jay, you didn't have no albums out at that time. I had a mixtape out. So I got like you. A real album package. Yeah. And store um, on behalf of the streets. That yeah. shit was already out. Yeah. He had already did what he did with Richie Rich and there. I'm like, you feel me? So it just, my buzz was just growing. He reached out. You feel me? And uh, it was either him or Beta Weeda. You get what I'm saying? They both reached out to me. Like, okay, cool, but keep it real. Live Wire and PTB is like the same thing, but um. Bro, just start coming to the hood, fucking with a nigga. I'm doing photo shoots, and he like send me your album, put it on his on his poster. You feel me? I remember it was like, uh, put a verse, no, send me a song. I'm gonna put it on on my album. I'm like, you really gonna put it on there? Like, <laughs> you feel me? Like, I, like I'm not. See, I used to go to uh, Seminary Hoagie and give him like a blank CD with like three, four songs on it, and like put one on each one of your playlists. You feel me to pass around. You know, I used to have the playlist back in the yeah. playlist yeah. 27, 28, like that. Yeah. Like take one song, you feel me, just to be on the playlist where they got the paper with the little shit written yeah. out. It's to be heard. Yeah. So when Brad told me I'm gonna put him on the album, I think the song was called Thunderdorm. You feel me? For uh Reader. Reader. 34 yeah, West. Yeah. He put it on the tape. And I think that was the first Diz album, the, the, the Town Disney's album. Yeah. You know, he, I think he had a purple on the cover. Nigga, I was like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, <laughs> like I had told you uh, I was supposed to come out on this other song, and I, I was I was locked up. He, he and, said, and the nigga took the verse off. Yeah, how many times? I was hurt. Like you feel me? I'm, I'm calling from jail. Like at this time, bro, I'm back and forth, like going back and forth to jail. You feel me? This, you feel me? So you need I'm like, little shit, that little I'm like, that shit about to come out. Yeah. I'm just getting my feet wet. I'm yeah. just trying to be her. I'm yeah. not giving a fuck about nothing. I'm yeah. just trying to be her. Yeah. So I'm like, that shit about to come out. You're like, yeah. And I ask him, I'm like, I'm like, my verse still on it? Like, yeah. That motherfucker came. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I kept playing that motherfucker back and forth. Like, you're like, man, I don't hear my shit. Yeah. Like, uh, there must be another version of this then, motherfucker. Uh, 